Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, got another Pokemon on my future team. Matty Ratty the Squirtle. Starting off at level 3. Only knows Tackle initially, gonna be a bit before Matty learns a water attack. And there's the starting stats. Surprisingly, defense is not the highest. I guess because of the bouncy shell. Uh, hold on a sec. Let's go ahead and give you this last berry. Considering there are Flaffies wandering around here, you especially could be using the extra bit of health. Now then, who's ready for some randomized trainer fights? This is not a trainer fight. This is a pile of swine. Maddie Ratty says, feel free to just rename me Maddie sometime when you can. Okay. Um gonna have to wait until Goldenrod. Goldenrod is where the name changer is. No rush or worries? Alright. I will at least make note of that real quick. Maddie Ratty wants to be just plain Maddie. Noted. So, by the way, now that it is no longer nighttime, this town is purple. It is interesting how different towns are differently themed colors on Super Game Boy. Good, no encounters. Okay, so, Rubber Boy is going to put Maddie on front. Now, I forget if I mentioned this, but trainers in the game, their teams are randomized. So let's see what we're starting off with. I just lost, so I'm trying to find more Pokemon. Wait, you look weak. Come on, let's battle. Oh, another little thing that I randomized, by the way. Trainer titles. Hello there, rich girl Joey. And hello to Lit Dragon, who is in the chat right now. Welcome to my stream. I need to talk to you about stuff. Huh, how about that? Swineub. <laughs> yes, as Strikeback says, Rich Girl Joey and her top percentage Swineub. How tough are you? Uh, Maddie's not going to be able to handle this. Not initially. So, Strike Pack is going to come in as backup. Otherwise, this is actually going to be starting out pretty easy. Intentionally so. You see, instead of randomizing Pokemon trainers completely, I randomize them so that the game starts out easy and gets more difficult along the way. The reason for this is because I feel like if every trainer had access to all 252 Pokemon, the novelty would wear off in a hurry. So I figure by doing it this way, that ensures that trainers later in the game are still going to have some surprises for me. I feel like it would be more fun this way, essentially. Ugh, I don't have any more Pokemon. I have to have more Pokemon for battles. I'm going to catch some more. Wow, you're pretty tough. Could I get your phone number? 
I'll call you for a rematch. Okie doke. This is one feature I really like from this game. Getting phone numbers and you can get rematches. Starting a Pokemon Crystal, they could also offer you free items, which is really neat. You're a Pokemon trainer, right? Then you have to battle. Okay, what you got? A rich girl, Mikey, who has Pidgey. Is that vanilla? I think you normally have a Pidgey. So as Matty Ratty points out, another good reason to have these trainers randomized as I have is so that I would not have to worry about Rich Girl Joey having a top percentage Dialga. Okay, first level up for Maddie. Learn Tail Whip. Probably not gonna get much use out of that. Okay, what? <laughs> um, huh. So, Maddie is pointing out that normally this fight has a level 2 Rattata and a level 4 Pidgey. It seems the roles have been reversed in this situation. And Maddie is not fit to fighting a Rattata. So, strike back again? I can ensure everyone that there are plenty of low level type Pokemon besides the ones we've seen so far. Like, I know for a fact that Diglett could be in the mix. So we'll definitely see a little more variety than the usuals. That's strange. One before. Becoming a good trainer is really tough. I'm going to battle other people to get better. Trainer tips, no stealing other people's Pokemon. Pokeballs are to be thrown only at wild Pokemon. Uh, before moving on... Flaffy, I don't think you really need the berry anymore. And Story Pack, I think you're also going to be okay. So... Use one berry to heal Natty. And hold on to the other for good measure. I'm not a trainer, but if you look one in the eyes, prepare to battle. Like this? Instead of a bug Pokemon, I found a trainer. I wonder what the odds are that you'll have a bug Pokemon. Uh, apparently got shuffled vanilla. Bugcatcher Dawn. That's boring. That's also boring. No, really. I tested out a similar seed than the one I'm using now. And the initial trainers had a much more interesting selection of Pokemon at the start of this game. Okay, Metapod is a good one. That means heal that poison. And the Metapod is just going to sit there taking in a beating for Maddie. A 
So, to Lit and everybody else who is watching, I downgraded my internet because good internet is good and also expensive. A bit more expensive than I would like to be paying for, so I downgraded my internet now that I was done with Sonic Unleashed. And so far in this stream, I have dropped... Oh, I'd say around 12,000 frames. Which is awful. So I might have to re-upgrade back to the good internet, which is going to be really expensive. I'm making one last attempt here. Streaming at 30 frames in s uh, 30 frames per second instead of 60. Hopefully that will resolve the dropped frames issue, but if I start, start dropping a ton again, I'm going to have to upgrade, because 12,000 dropped frames is unacceptable. Alas, that means I'm going to be paying an extra $30 a month on internet if I do that, and that is outside my budget. I may require a little bit of assistance on helping keeping my streams afloat if that winds up being the case. I'd hate to ask for money, like specifically. I welcome money, I will always welcome money, but to specifically ask for it is something I want to avoid. I ran out of Pokeballs while I was catching Pokemon. I should have bought some more. That reminds me, what route are we on right now? I was hoping to get all the way to this option. Route 30. Route 30, you say? Let's keep going for a little bit longer here. Because Route 31 is also acceptable. Dark Cave. If Pokemon could light it up, I'd explore it. Ooh, this is going to be a new place with new Pokemon. Max Revive. That is a good one. So what do we have in here? Can't fully explore it just yet, but... Ooh, Espeon. Espeon would be interesting, but like I said, there is a different Psychic Pokémon that I am interested in finding. While I'm in here, I might as well try scrounging my way to reach this Pokéball up here. I'm pretty sure I can reach it. So if I had to guess, Espeon is the randomized replacement for Zubat. By the way, to the others of you watching this at YouTube, I am not going to do much in the way of editing, because I stream specifically so I don't have to do much editing. Holy cow, there's a Nidoking King in here! Um... Uh... Bye! Not prepared for that! Huh? I walked too far today looking for Pokémon. My feet hurt and I'm sleepy. If I were a wild Pokémon, I'd be easy to catch. Hint, hint. Zzz. Bitter berry. Trees do not have random items. I don't think that is an option, even. Full restore. Finding some good items at the start of the game, but that also means the bad items are going to be towards the end of it. I caught a bunch of Pokemon. Let me battle with you. 
I swear, these better not be all bug Pokemon. Really? The randomizer showed such promise initially by pitting us against a swine nub. There we go. Now we got some variety. How unfortunate that Maddie is poisoned, and I did not expect to be finding poisonous enemies this early on, with Weedles being shuffed, shuffled out of wild encounters. Hopefully get one more level out of this real quick. Actually, second thought. I'm gonna get a level out of this regardless. Alright, Barry. Well, in that case... Bubble! That's a good move to have. Show me a ground Pokémon. That is a water Pokémon. It's a very easy water Pokémon, too, so Maddie is just gonna stay in here. Poison is a much bigger threat than a fish out of water. Oh, Kakuna. Oh, that would be such easy experience. Oh, Bubble! That's gonna just ignore the defense of this thing. And Maddie, despite being poisoned on the first turn, is going to get through this whole fight. Might wind up fainting on the way to the Pokemon Center. Maybe not, though. I think the Pokemon Center is within 36 steps. You can catch Pokemon even if you have six with you. If you catch one, it'll go to your box automatically. Well, you're pretty tough. Could I get your phone number? Generic phone number message. Any trainer that talks about rematches has the exact same message. Okay, escaping. Totally escaping. We will chat with people after we're done escaping. Uh, that's unfortunate. Thought for sure we'd be able to make it without Maddie fainting. Okay, there is a Pokemon out here that I am very much interested in being on the team. Maddie Reddy says, Well, fighting fit again. Time to give him shell. Indeed. There's the Pokemon. There are two Pokemon in the randomizer that I made sure would be shuffled into it because I want them for breeding purposes. Girafferig here is going to be a daddy at some point. Uh, that is a pretty high special defense there. Try out Tackle instead. Oh boy. Uh. 
Giraffe Rig is also really tough. Twelve, seven, six. Ooh, cannot take another one of those. How about somebody else comes in for backup? I think Stripe Pack has got this. Hopefully not too much of this. Too much of this. Darn it. Well, level for Maddie at least. Okay, change the plans here. Who has got like the lowest attack? Besides Maddie. 15, 13, 16. Okay, so. Strike back is the better choice in this situation. And probably gonna go and heal. By the way, Lit, I am doing this thing where people in the Twitch chat get to be Pokemon should they so want to be. Is there any specific Pokemon that you would be interested in being during this adventure? Because if I find that Pokemon, I will totally name it after you. It says Charmander. Alright, well, if I find a Charmander, it shall be you. That's an Ampharos. The evolution, the final evolution, in fact, of Flaffy is right here, near the start of the game. I kind of like Flaffy a little better. Oh, Poliwhirl. Interesting. Uh-oh. You just made finding Giraffe Rig a little more difficult. And it has to be a male Giraffe Rig as well. So hopefully... RNG is on our side for that. Cadavra? Oh boy, there's a bunch of you guys here. I wonder what strike what level strike back is gonna learn sing. Okay, I'm half tempted to catch a Poliwhirl just for the sake of having Hypnosis on my team. Actually, here is a question. Another thing that I randomized is traded Pokémon. I'm curious... I'm talking about in-game trades, by the way. There are several trainers in the game that are willing to trade with you. And in your case, what are you looking for? Almondite? Well, I haven't seen one of those yet, but I will make note of it. Almondite for... Entei! Okay! So, if I want a legendary fire dog... Or is it a cat? I think it's a... I don't know. Point is, I could get an Entei if I have an Ammonite. Matty Rowdy says, I think in this version you can get Pokemon on the route with that weird tree. No, I think that's only in Crystal version. Nope. In crystal version, there's a patch of grass here. 
not in this version. Okay, well, I'm not gonna do any more editing at YouTube if I can help it, but I think something I will go ahead and do is head into this episode break here. And when we come back from this break, I'll hopefully have caught the giraffe rig.